We're here with Eugene Greenan, uh, former, uh, formerly of Sinn Féin. Um, you were elected here in 2014 on the last count. Uh, I suppose bring us through some of those emotions. Yeah, uh, definitely reliving it here in the Crown Centre today. It was a tough two days. Um, but funny enough, even though it was a close, you know, I got took the last seat, I had a little bit of comfort the whole way through it. And I know that might sound a bit uh, cocky to say it, but we, you know, I ended up being two, 200 votes behind, ahead of the next candidate. So, you know, we knew we'd get there as a waiting game. I think the waiting is, is the hardest part. Yeah. You know, and, and that's it. But uh, that was a hard one and fought election. And I think people um, need to understand that a lot of work goes into winning the elections. Uh, you need to knock doors and you need to um, get out and do something. And I think that wasn't done by certain people in this election, and I think that shows in the ballot today. Is that across the, the county in all three districts? Yeah, well, I can only speak for Calvin Paltorba because that's where I live. Um, and, uh, you know, speaking to people within the town, you know, Seamus, I was involved in the Chamber of Commerce afterwards. So I have a good uh, cross section of the community between residents and business people. And they felt that candidates were simply throwing leaflets through the letterbox box and not, were, were not seen. And then, I suppose, from the business community and, and, the, and the wider community, people have felt over the last couple of years that they, ha they haven't had representation in Calvin Town. And I know they felt that in other places, such as Valtorba, and Valtorba has spoken, and Calvin Town has spoken in a more fragmented That's something way. I know we, I spoke about earlier on with, uh, with Des Cullen, um, that vacuum mm -hmm. that was left by the by the loss of the town councils. Yeah. That's, that's really been felt. I mean, here where you have um, Frank McDermott in, in, in Shercock having a huge vote out there. Yeah. Uh, again, Brendan Smith in, in, in Valtorba, and again, Patricia Walsh here in Calvin Town. Yeah, and, and that's it. And, and fair play to Patricia. Patricia put in a fantastic campaign, and um, you know she, she deserves the vote she got. I saw her out in Cavan Town, still a small place. You see her on the road, uh, and, and the big team she had behind her. But without a doubt, the biggest shock um, that I had in my system was that people in Cavan Town after the last election still thought there was a town of council, and didn't realise that at that stage it was only me and Madeline argue that was left. And so there was two people predominantly holding a, a, an area of, of 11,000 people. So to represent, two people representing 11,000 people may not sound like much to some people, but when you're in a part-time role as a county councillor... And a full-time employee. And, and a full-time uh, yeah, employee, it's, it's a hell of a lot of work. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I've got a, f a feeling a few of the fresh faces here today uh, will we'll enjoy this weekend uh, with the success and wake up Monday morning to a list of promises they've made on the doorsteps and uh, the phone will start ringing and that's when reality hits. Dare I ask, uh, any chance you get back into politics? Uh, not in the near future. Um, in, a, in a way, it, I mean, I, it's, it's tough for me. Anyone who's been in politics to be on the sidelines uh, uh, on, a, on a weekend like this. Um, but it's, it's What's the draw? What, 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 what is the draw in, in getting on politics? It's the passion for your community and, the, and a passion for your town. And it, you know, it, was a, it was a very, very difficult decision for me to leave politics in the first place. And uh, that was made more difficult by the way that my party tr uh, treated me after that, but we're not going to talk about that now. Um, they've got their results today, and today in many ways is a, is a bit of closure for me, in that, in my mind, I did the best to serve Calvin Town. Um, when I left, there was people talking about me being a general election candidate and things like that. People before me, such as Brian McKeown and Charlie Boylan, always hold a strong vote. Um, and I, it's heartbreaking to me to, to, to see that the good work that I put in has been completely lost. And I don't think that's down into a particular candidate. I think it's down to the, the way the party has managed the county over the last two to three years and the way they've treated the people in the party. And um, But politics has that draw. It's, you know, people love GEA, people love politics, people love gambling, they love everything. Um, for me, uh, politics will always be a hobby of mine and an interest of mine. And um, I, I flew home from London. I got the last trip yesterday. The last plane out of London to get me into Calvin in time to vote it cost me a fortune, but I value my vote when 50% of the country is sitting on the couch and do nothing about it. I still, I, I, I still want to go home. Brilliant. Thanks so much, Eugene.